welcome back to Red Ted Up. Today we're going to show you an unusual paper plane. This is a paper plane and straw plane that flies really well. It's actually quite good for a game of throw and catch too. Now we made some variations on this which makes it a really good STEM activity. Go on then, shall I have a look? You can make, make a smaller one, bigger. Yeah. What else did we have a go? And a shorter, shorter straw. Lift it up, you can't see that. Lift it up. Shorter straw, yeah. With a big one and a big one. And then you made your invention. A lift it up. straw one. Lovely, look at that. And with clips. So you can basically experiment, but we'll show you how to create this basic plane today. Okay, you see that these planes are really easy to make. What you need is is a straw, any kind. This is actually quite a ch chubby one, but I don't think it matters. And some light card. So this is actually, as you can see, a uh, an old subject divider that actually we were going to throw out. And I thought, hey, let's use that to make something with. So it's really easy. I take my subject divider, some scissors, and you'll also need some tape. And then I'll cut a strip down the bottom. So this is about um, 20 centimeters long if you do want to have it accurate. Then I'm going to cut a strip across the top. Now, the key with these aeroplanes is that you have the bigger circle twice the size as the smaller circle. That makes them fly really well. If you don't have um, a piece of paper that, that that's that long or where the proportions don't work, um, you can stick two pieces together. Um, you know, so, so it's you know you can just you know you can attach two like that and, and make a bigger loop. Now the great thing also about this is you can um, experiment. You know you can get different sizes um, and just see what flies best. You'll see that actually these aren't exactly twice the size. I might cut mine a bit shorter because I do actually think that they work a bit better if they're twice the size. And also you can experiment whether a different sized um, oops different sized straws work what better or worse. So you do one loop. And another loop. This is quite small now, so I'll be interesting, won't it? Here's the second loop. So literally just tape it up. That's the same size as that. Maybe I should have left this one a bit bigger, but it's okay. We'll see. It's about experimenting. Um, but, uh, you know, I know, I, yeah, basically experimenting. Just talking for the sake of it now. Now get more tape. And then you tape this to the bottom. Now you want this to be perpendicular, right? So you want this really to be straight as you tape it to the bottom. Not, not at an angle, just nice and straight, pointing that way. And then you do it again on this side, if I can find my tape. Like so, make sure it's nice and straight. Like so. And there you have your paper aeroplane. Now to make this into a STEM project or a science project, you can try out different types of paper. You can try out uh, different sized straws. You can try out making your own creations like this. Or you could, um, this is also a paper one at the back rather than a cardboard. So you could try out heavier, lighter paper. What happens if you change the shape into say a triangle? Um, you just have to press it into that shape and tape it down. So try out different things and see what works best. But the important thing is try and predict first what might or might not happen. Anyway, let's go and watch this one fly. That wasn't too bad. To be honest, it was a really windy day and it was so hard to get that video. But they are fun and they're easy to fly and they're really great fun. Um, or really easy to make, great, great to play with. Now, don't forget to subscribe to Red Ted Art. Please, 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 please leave me a comment telling me what kind of crafts you'd like to see more of and hope to see you here again soon. Don't forget to tell your friends. Bye.